the weekend in South Oklahoma City. It's a beautiful Sunday afternoon. And you know what that means. Everyone coming together, um, everyone cruising together. The buddies, the friends, the homies just hanging out. This isn't a hobby, it's self-expression, a way of life. I think it's important because it's, it just shows people's creativity. You'll meet some of the friendliest people in lowriders. Welcome to lowriding, South Oklahoma City style. When I get behind that steering wheel, especially when I have my family with me, um, it's a feeling that a lot of people um, can't really describe. It's, it's awesome. Well, my son has a bike. Um, he has two bikes. My wife has a car. She has a Lincoln and uh, a stroller as well. We are a lowrider family, I would say. This is our culture. We live, we breathe, we wake up, and we go to sleep thinking about the, the scene, the community. Yeah, I didn't really, I didn't really know anything about it um, until he brought me in and was like, yeah, let's start a bike for our son. And you know, it's real cheap. And, <laughs> and um, that was probably the biggest lie I ever heard. <laughs> that, that was my way of pulling her into the scene with me. Um, you know, we're, we're grateful. I'm, I'm definitely grateful for this lifestyle that, that he, he showed myself and our son and um, the friendships and the family that came along with it. I got a show coming up. Yep. A lot of people focus on the negative part of that. Um, you know, the negative part of low riding, you know, gang banging and stuff like that. And it's it's not really like that. Um, you'd be surprised how many families are just like us. There's a lot of, uh, you know, kind hearted people out there in the low riding scene. Okay, so what else are we going to be doing to this car besides this mural? I want to get all this engraved. That's my kind of jewelry is engraving. Eventually, we do the interior. Yeah, we're not That's all, what I want to do. We're not all thugs. We're not all gangsters. But, you know, at the same time, a lot of us do have a history. But, you know, a lot of us have changed our history, you know. So I, for example, is one. So uh, family is a big thing. Low riding has kept me out. This is positive. This is something that can turn into positive. Once you spend any time at all around lowriders, you quickly see no two cars are alike. And that is precisely the point. Photographers and videographers regularly document lowrider get-togethers like this. This one right here stands out to me really well. Um, you've got the, the gold, it's really shiny, and you've got the red that complements too. Every little detail and everything is done to each side. But if you get the right photo and you get the right angle, you can see just all the flake in here. It's a really cool photo to get. Seeing the details of lowriders is part of the reason to go to a gathering like this and to meet the car clubs. There are many. These guys here, I've been rolling with them since, I'm gonna say over, some people over 15, 20 years, you know? Since I started, they've been with me, you know? It's like a family outside of a family. We're all blue collar guys, concrete workers, no bricklayers, furniture movers, and we put everything that we have into to coming out on that Sunday and hit the switch on somebody. Or, Doing three around the corner. Hitting the switches is lowrider lingo for using the car's specially installed hydraulic system to make the cars dance. And why is that such a thing? If you have stress, the stress goes there. It goes, it, it really does. until something breaks down. <laughs> now we, you get more stress. <laughs> you start jumping real high and stuff like that, you're gonna start breaking things. 
So what I do is, this is called a full wrap. I'm boxing in the whole entire frame, all four corners, um, with 3 16 steel. I have the CNC plasma table, cut out my uh, metal, and from there, I'll clamp them onto the frame and weld them on to reinforce them. I'm a real hands-on person. You know, I get to weld, get to design things, and it's going for a car. So it just kind of goes hand in hand for me, and that's why I love what I do. Welding to me is an art. Illegal toys. We're just a small local car club. My dad joined in 98, and ever since then I've been in the car club. So it's, it's you know, it's part of my life, really. Me as a young lad. <laughs> We had the opportunity to be, get a feature in the Lowrider magazine. Um, so this car is in it. Um, when I was little, I had a Lowrider trike with hydraulics. So that was pretty cool. I have my car tattooed on me, classic Route 66. So it's definitely more than a hobby to uh, some people. It's kind of a way of life. Um, it's a family thing, honestly. This is a backyard boogie, which is basically a pop-up event with friends, family, music, and very good tacos. Backyard boogie is something new um, that my girl was all like, hey, you know what? We need to have a backyard boogie. I said, let's do it. It definitely brings a different flavor to the city. Low riding is much more than just vehicles. It's family, it's community, it's unity, it's culture. It's so much more, and I can go on and on, you know what I mean? Pusiste precio a tus caricias, creyendo que así serías muy feliz. This has been a male-dominated industry. And throughout the years, I've seen more and more women coming out with their beautiful rides, coming out with their canvas in their vehicles and uh, their representation. And it's been amazing. I see my car as my canvas. My car is a representation of unity, of empowerment. Whenever somebody or a young girl sees my car down the street, I would want her to feel empowered to be like, I want that. For Patty, part of the power comes from the pink created at the local car shop icon, Max's. I went to Max and I told him, Max, I want to keep it pink, but I want, you know, a different tone of pink. They mixed a lot of pinks together and they came out with this beautiful pink pearl. That's a custom color, so I'm the only one that has it. Every October, Patty's Vintage Rollers Car Club stages a cruise to raise money for Santa Fe High School South. My heart has always been um, with giving back. Um, that's where my heart's been. That's been my love language for since I was young. I would define a lowrider. Starts off from back in the day how you were raised, you know, in the culture. A lowrider is basically a car that sits low. And you go out there and you enjoy it. Me, when I started, to make a lowrider, I put rocks and concrete in the trunk to lower it, you know? And that was it, nobody sees inside, you know? Richard has been in the lowrider scene since growing up back in California. And he knows exactly what he wants to see from the scene in Oklahoma City. To me, it makes me feel okay. I mean, what I'm more after is the children. Teach them the right way, not the bad way, because the way that I'm describing it to you, it's, it should be the normal way. And that's the reason why I try to spread the positive so that way the kids can continue. <laughs> 